What's up, everybody? Welcome to this week's episode of Talking Back with Zach. Thank you very much for joining us. Guys, it's Tech Week. I'm so effing tired. JK, it's not that bad. Yes, it is. No, it's fine. The show is super coming together. We are very excited. We have an audience tonight for our final dress. But before we do that, I wanted to have a little chat with our amazing, brilliant, wonderful, talented, and ever so soft-spoken stage manager, Jamel. And I just wanted to get a sense of how he feels, because we talk all the time about how sore and tired and crazy we are. But then, there's this person at the helm who is making sure that we don't die. And in a play called Zombies with Guns, that's often a worry. So let's chat with him, shall we? So Jamel! Yes, Zach. Hi. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Jamel is the most patient human I have ever met in my entire life. Why don't you talk a little bit about what it's like working with Tribe of Fools as opposed to maybe some other companies you've worked for? I don't know how to say that without maybe not... I won't offend you. Offend everybody. <laughs> <laughs> I love working with Tribe of Fools because everyone is just so... First of all, relaxed. Uh, no, but it's, it's fun because they're never afraid to try anything, and if they do try something, they don't complain if they get hurt. Sometimes it becomes a problem. It's great because everyone is they're doing this for fun. For fun and for the job, but it's mostly for fun. Describe a little bit about what Tech tech Week is like for you. This has been a weird tech, but it wasn't like in a bad way, it was just different. But I don't think we ever had like bad techs. Describe your feelings. About what? Just how you feel when you come in. Are you how stressed? do I feel? Are you like hot, super well, happy? I'm Are super like... hot, first of all. I just have to wipe the jillions of sweat off my face and body. Yeah, and I'm excited. I'm always like super happy because I want to see the show. And I want to see how people react to the show. We got our first audience tonight. How do you feel about that? I'm very excited. Ah! Oh, what's your favorite moment in the play? Ah. I think Zach does. Yes, it's the zombies though. I love. I literally think y'all have not done that scene yet where I have not been smiling for the entire scene. <laughs> that is really good to hear. If you're smiling after watching it 500 times, maybe new audiences I, will yes, smile I will and giggle. Good. I'll just like smack on the back of the head. Like, why are you not smiling? Thanks. Well, thanks for talking to me. Thank you for having me. Here. Talking back with Jamel. <laughs> <laughs> this week's cast profile is going to be with Lauren Harris, who plays the super badass lady named Brie. She does a whole lot of ass kicking in the show. She is tough, she is witty, and she's damn fierce. So let's have a chat with her and hear what she has to say about the process of zombies with guns. Shall we? <laughs> My favorite zombie movie is World War Z because of the zombies and their physicalizations and their sounds. I think the specificity is awesome. They were some of the most interesting zombies that I've seen so far. The biggest challenge is remembering that the stakes are very high all of the time and there are some human scenes that are a little more down tempo or a little less violent. <laughs> And so, to be able to keep that energy and keep that attack can sometimes require a little bit of extra effort, especially on our two show days or when we've been in tech for eight hours. I think my favorite zombie moment is hearing Tara in her flashback die, but just to hear her attack the stage makes me laugh every time. People should see Zombies with Guns because it is a ton of fun. It's a fast and funny show, and for such a charged theme of gun control in America, I think that it's a useful exercise for fleshing out how we feel about that theme and for that theater making, audience reception type of relationship. I think that this is a really good show to have in the French this season. I would die in my sleep. In that, I would be napping, and they would find me, and they would eat. Because when I get stressed out, I nap, and so I'd be stressed out by all the zombies, and so I would nap. But then they would find me, and I would die, and I wouldn't wake up in time. So I would die by now. That's the Tech Week tends to be a more insane week out of the process. So we're adding all the lights, all the sound, all the props, all the costumes for us. There's makeup, there's blood. There's a lot of guns, all safe, but still guns. A lot of people are really hard at work. We have a brilliant lighting designer, a sound designer, our set designers here day and night making sure it looks perfect. And I'm gonna give you guys a little tour of the space just so you can get a sense of uh, all of that coming together. First of all, here's our beautiful audience. This is where people will be sitting, and if you're in the front two rows, it's a splash zone, so prepare your ponchos. That's Peter, he's the director. Keep it down while I'm doing this. 
we move over here, you can see our beautiful set. There's our amazing set designer, Paul, who makes it all happen. Pretty elaborate set for Tropic Fools. And this here is our dressing room, which doesn't look like much, but uh, I'll tell you what, the best feature of this room here is that AC unit. I tell you what, it is 15 degrees cooler in here, and thank the Lord, because it is it's an inferno out on stage, folks. So this is it. It is opening night. We are done with tech. We had a dress rehearsal last night. It went great. So that's when the lights turned off. I mean, but who needs lights? It's a play. But we're super excited. We're going to have an audience tonight. We're going to have a party afterwards. So no matter how it goes, there will be booze. We have a full audience. Terry is super dressed up and looking like an absolute crazy person right now. Yeah. You look like a monster. I've got residual eyeliner. These are not bags. I mean, they are bags, but, you know. But they're pretty bags. Because they're pretty they're bags. Another line. They're well-defined bags, uh, and they'll be there for the next two weeks, so. And thank you guys so much for watching. We'll get give you little updates um, throughout the week with our celebrity guest star zombies, uh, the first of which is Robert Drake tonight. Robert Drake. Super pumped for that. Uh, so, again, thanks so much for watching. Keep tuning in, and please come see Zombies with Guns. And subscribe. And subscribe and share with your friends. The uh, link for tickets is in the description box below. Alright. Thanks very much. See you out there. <laughs>